I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts are a hatching if I only had a brain. Oh, hi there. Tell me, is that a video camera you have there? Well, good, because I have something important to say. But first of all, could you help me get off this pole here? Ah, there. That's better. It's the first chance I've had to sit down since spring. Well, Scarecrow here. Today, I'm going to do a video review. I just watched a video called The Secret of Oz. The video is filled with half-truths. Do you know what the problem is with a half-truth? A half-truth is also a half-lie. The video attempts to rewrite history. Many of the historical facts given in the video are, are inaccurate. The quotations of our founding fathers are out of context, making them sound like they're saying something that they are not saying at all. The video is right about one thing, and that is we must abolish the Federal Reserve. But where the video goes wrong is it proposes another fiat money system. After the economy collapses, after the dollar collapses, we will have to establish another monetary system. It cannot be another fiat money system because the fiat money system is what got us into this trouble. And you cannot correct the situation by doing more of what you did to get into the situation. The video is wrong when it says gold is the banker's money. The exact opposite is true. Gold was money long before there was a banker. Gold and silver are the people's money. Gold and silver evolved out of the free market as the people's money. Then what happened, as the video correctly says, is that goldsmiths were storing the people's money and issuing paper certificates or paper receipts for the gold that they were storing. But then they noticed that people were trading the paper receipts in place of the gold. So they decided that they would issue more paper receipts than they had gold on deposit. And with that move, fiat money was born. Therefore, it is fiat money that is the money of the bankers. This is an important key point that the video gets totally wrong. Gold is not the banker's money. It is the people's money along with silver. Fiat money is the banker's money. Bankers created it and it is the money that the bankers want. In the documentary they even warn us about gold bugs saying that when the dollar collapses be careful because all these gold bugs are going to come out and want money that is backed by gold and silver. Well, that's exactly what we need. We need to return to money that is backed by gold and silver. We need to return to the people's money. Fiat money gives the government unlimited power. He who has the money has the power. So the ability to create unlimited amounts of money is unlimited power. And that is why we're moving toward a tyrannical police state today because the government has unlimited power because it has unlimited ability to create money. The video says that we must take the ability to create fiat money away from the Federal Reserve and give it to the government. And although that is a step in the right direction, there is one big problem with that. The problem is the bankers have control over our government. So if we give the government the ability to create fiat money, we are giving the bankers the ability to create fiat money, which means that we will be right back in the place where we're in today. Establishing another fiat money will do nothing but move us from the pot into the fire. In the video, speaking of the Wizard of Oz, 
the narrator says that the most important concept or the most important symbol in the movie is the yellow brick road which represents gold. Well he is wrong about that too. The name of the movie or the name of the book I should say is not the yellow brick road. The name of the book is the wonderful wizard of Oz. The chief symbol in the book and the movie is the Wizard of Oz. And if you will remember, the Wizard of Oz was a fraud. The Emerald City, Emerald for green, the green city represents greenbacks or paper money or fiat money. The wizard was a fraud and so what the book is saying is that paper money or fiat money is a fraud. That is the most important symbolism in the book that this documentary totally ignores. So, in summary of my review of this documentary, The Secret of Oz, my recommendation is a big thumbs down. I do not recommend the documentary, but there are some really good books that I do recommend where you will get the honest truth on this subject. All the books written by Murray Rothbard. Here's a good one, The Case Against the Fed. Another one, What Has Government Done to Our Money? This is a very easy to read book. It explains it in terms that even someone without a brain can understand. You can find Murray Rothbard's book at the Mises Institute. The other books that I recommend are the books written by Ron Paul. Here's a great book, The Revolution. And another book by Ron Paul is Pillars of Prosperity. If you read no other book this year, read this book, Pillars of Prosperity by Ron Paul. This is the truth about our money, not that ridiculous documentary. When the dollar collapses, as it surely will, we must demand honest money, the people's money. We must demand money backed by gold and silver. We cannot give the government unlimited power. The power to print unlimited money is unlimited power. With the ability to create unlimited money, they can hire all the armies, they can hire mercenaries, they can establish a police state, and this is what they want. We have to demand the discipline of commodity backed money, money that is backed by gold and silver. This is the Scarecrow reminding you beware of wolves dressed as sheep. I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts are hatching if I only had a brain.